The search for the most ungalicious family has taken up to a great start. Loads and loads of passionate amateur cooks applied to be part of Ghana's premier reality cooking show, Ungalicious Ghana Cooks 2021. Ungalicious Ghana Cooks. These are 30 shortlisted applicants ready to present their own delicious dishes for selection to compete for the grand prize of 20,000 Ghana CDs, second prize of 15,000 Ghana CDs, third prize of 10,000 Ghana CDs, fourth prize of 5,000 Ghana CDs, and loads of goodies from Onga Ilele. This year, Four teams will win four golden tickets to cook during Christmas for four lucky viewers. You can nominate that person for the Ungalicious Christmas treat. Simply write to Unga on social media hashtag Unga Christmas Hero and tell us why you think that person deserves the treat. When we return, we'll see how this exhilarating journey all started. I don't want chicken like soup, hot and spicy. Honey, now the baby wants quantum rest to you. Honey, the baby wants some small beef jollof and the kids. Food is ready! Mom, <sighs> red card. Thanks to Onga for every meal. Introducing the new Onga stew tablet and Onga beef tablet. Onga, Mama's helping hand. This advert is FDA approved. Onga is a brand that has grown on the back of the Ghanaian community. And I can say with confidence, that there is no typical Ghanaian home, you will go today and not find our product. Ongalicious Ghana Cooks is Ghana's number one reality TV cooking show. Please indulge me again. I would like to insist that it is Ghana's number one reality TV cooking show. It is targeted at anyone with the passion and the vision to start their own culinary business, any amateurs, aspiring chefs, and cooking enthusiasts across Ghana. So, how does one really get into the competition? Just three simple steps. Number one, send a picture of your team with any of the Onga seasoning variants. Add a picture of your unique finished food. Number three, name your team. You and the cook and the helping hand. That's all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time we've all been waiting for. Officially outdooring on Galicious Ghana Cooks 2021. Let's start with the third. On Galicious Ghana Cooks 2021. Officially outdoor. Thank you very much, Samir. Thank you very much, Madam Harriet. We are ready for the show. Who will be the ultimate winner? That is how it all started. A journey that has food, fire and fan at the center of it. And I can promise you it will be finger licking good. Here is a tip to cooking an Onga delicious food. The Onga Classic is good for seasoning any four-legged animal. It is a jack of all trades. Make sure you visit the Onga Ghana site on Facebook for irresistible recipes to cook and enjoy with your family. Just like the last three seasons, every step of the competition will be critically judged by two of the very best in the culinary world, Chef Joe and Chef Joe. Chef Joe is the managing proprietor of Wiltex Food Design. He's a consultant for hospitality and culinary institutions and brands. He is also the current Vice President of the Chefs Association of Ghana 
and the Vice President of the Ghana Tourism Federation. When it comes to Ghana meals, my expectation for the contestants is not just come to cook the normal and plate it the normal way, but I'm looking at where passion and creativity comes to play. Chef Joe always seeks the opportunity to show the cuisines of Ghana and Africa to the world. And our second judge is also a grand master in the kitchen. I will be watching out for a lot of creativity, a lot of fusion, a lot of upliftment. I want to see a lot of excitement on the plate. Chef Job Ansar is a connoisseur of good food whose dishes delight not only the regular customer he serves, but even the food critics. He studied food production at the Tourism and Hospitality Institute. He is an executive member of the Ghana Chefs Association. He is the executive chef at Safari Valley Resort. To set the ball rolling, the applicants presented the judges a variety of entries, all made with unga. Le gastronomy. Is that what it is? Is that what you presented to Congratulations. me? Congratulations. The judges and the Browns team had a tough time sorting through and selecting 30 finalists for the live auditions. This season, two representatives from a family or friends are coming together to form a team to get into the culinary battle of supremacy. Yes, the ungalicious Ghana Cook's Kitchen will be hot and cold and everything in between. The cook and the helping hand who also doubles as a high person must bring their air games to survive. Ungalicious. Hello guys, I'm Erica, the helping hand. Hi, I'm Leonie, the cook. And, and together, together we, we are, are the Leos. Leos. We are yeah. the journal family. And we, and we are, are Girl Chef. We can't wait to wow the judges with, with our authentic food. I'm the cook and he is my son, the helping hand. We are here for the Ungalicious family cook battle and we are here to audition. Today, we're going to impress everyone, especially the judges. Sure. They have to taste our menu and they will know that, yes, we are indeed from Mima. Team Lados. Let the food do the talking. Team Lados. Not, Not today. Onga. Mama's helping hand. Ilelei. The judges have their work cut out for them. At the stage of the audition, the applicants have five minutes to warm and plate the already cooked dishes. The judges must slash the numbers from 30 selected applicants to 12 teams who will go on to the battle each week for the coveted prize of 20,000 Ghana CDs and the bragging right of being the winner of Ongalicious Ghana Cooks 2021. Who will it be? Whose food will be Ongalicious enough to wow the judges? Welcome to the Ungalicious Ghana Cook Family Battle Edition. The selection process. This is the do or die process. And then in a battle where each and everybody fights for himself, even though you might come from home with the same person or family, it is called the survival of the fittest. So now you fit, you survive. You don't fit, you are kicked out. So that is the battle in which you are. Tell us what you've presented to us. It's baked potatoes with beef loaf. I would have loved it if you have done something more with the ketchup. Okay. But it's, Thank you. the taste is very good. Where did you use the anger? Did you use anger in it? Yes. Is we used um, the anger, um, ginger, garlic, and onions to steam the meat. And we used the anger stew for the stew sauce. And we also added a little bit of hunger shrimp in it. Thank you very like much. Like I said, it's beautiful. But Thank you, next chef. time, be confident in your presentation. Simmering. So what's simmering on the plate? You have creamed kotumri with salted and sauteed fish filet. You have some yam croquettes there and then some um, sauteed yam and sweet potatoes. You've crowded your plates. Okay. 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 But this sauce is way, way, way too much portion compared size. to the protein, the fish that right. is on portion size. Even though right. it's a good sauce, you don't serve it plenty. plenty. Like, it looks as if it is, uh, yes, it makes a plate a bit too bulky okay. and overwhelming. So tell us, what is this? This is um, beans. Balls. Bean ball. Balls. Yes. Yeah. So bean ball. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and what is it? And this is fried plantain. And konkasi. Konkasi. Yes. So, so red red. More or less red red. So yes. this is red red. Yes. This is elevated star. red red. Was there any hunger product in it? Yes, please. Which Momoni of them? is inside. Momoni? Yes, please. Wow. And then three mix. Hunger three mix. Okay. Together with Ponga Shrew. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Tell us, what is it? I prepared a pesto sauce, which I marinated the, the seafood, that's grouper, which um, I used the Onga shrimp tablet. 
in marinating it with a little bit of ginger. And then the pesto sauce already has ginger in it, uh, how do you call it, sorry, garlic, and then that of um, cashew nut inside. So when you eat it, you can feel that flavor in it as you are eating it with the avocado um, yogurt dressing. And then you have um, kakumba, marinated kakumba salad. What is the filler in the seafood? That's it's not just, just seafood. The seafood with a bit of, um, how do you call it, um, um, mashed potato. So it's not just a seafood? Yes. It's okay, thank you. Larry family, tell us what it is. Okay, what we have what is movida arroz with... <laughs> <laughs> movida arroz with pumpkin seed stew. What is movida arroz? That's stirred rice in Spanish. This is a Spanish name. <laughs> Is my own so your own that? creation. Is so this thing is rice. Yes. Okay. It's like TZ by use yes, rice. Yes, by use rice. Okay. And then the filling is salmon. It's not salmon. It's, it's mackerel. Mac <laughs> There's salmon. snails here too, right? Yes, snails and then squid. And you have grilled it and trimmed sure. the dry and weeded thing a bit. Or grill on fire. And grill or something. It's okay. Take it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Tell us what you presented to us. Okay. So today we have some parsley rice with spicy green pepper. Is there any dressing on this? Yes, it's sweet chili salad. I think I love this. You see me now? We have some parsley rice with jerk chicken wings and sweet chili salad topped with um, spicy green chili sauce. I love this. Where did you use the onga fragrance? We're in the chicken and the green sauce. I like the barbecue flavor. The carrot, did you intentionally leave it crunchy? Yes. Or it has been, you forgot to cook it? We intentionally leave it like that. Tell us about your meal. Eh? Okay, what we presented is uh, jollof rice with uh, beef sauce. We use um, onga three mix in seasoning our beef and also the onga chicken tablet. Also, we added the classic in our jollof. I like the single grain. The texture is al dente. The beef looks glossy and it's nice. Aha, lovely. Please, I've presented to you steamed chick yam. Steam? Steamed chick yam. Chick yam? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. And, and avo with avocado sauce and some vegetables. So, there's chicken in the yam? Yes, please. That means, where is the chicken? Is it chopped into it? Yes, please. Oh, okay. The whole thing. Mm. And we have an amount of rice. Oh, but, rice, yam, and chicken? Yes. Where did you use the hunger? I used uh, three meats and a, a pinch of uh, onga curry. I taste the curry in there. Okay. Okay. Thank it's, you. It's innovative. Very. Thank you. Tell us about your food. Okay, so this is beef jollof in palm oil. And what? Beef jollof in palm oil. Palm oil? Yes, So please. this is palm oil in cooking this? Yes, please. Mm. With saute veg. That was the one you were stirring and stirring. This one? Mm. Yes. The saute veg. Yes. Tastes good though. Tell us what you brought to us. I can see it's jollof. We have jollof with a toasted a vegetables. Jollof. Toasted vegetables with chicken. Seriously, that I'm going to make a lot. This went on the Gentlemen, you were able to compile a good, brilliant taste. The flavor is extraordinary. But the presentation is not exciting a bit. Mm. Your flavor, your taste is very, very beautiful. Steamed potatoes with grilled chicken breast. Mm. Pan grilled chicken breast. You know one thing, I wouldn't present a chicken breast like this in the competition. Mm. Yeah. Chicken breast, it goes dry easy. Yeah. There's a lot of simplicity in here. Mm -hmm. But simplicity is not a bad thing. If it is done well, it's a good thing. Lettuce should not come anywhere close to fire. It should be cold. Lettuce is always cold and crisp. You've taken the water and these nutrients off. Once it comes close to fire, you destroy all that. If you put in for color and just something little you're sprinkling, but for it to be a main veg like this, it's a no-no for me. Don't we cooked that. for you red beans jollof rice with a saute veg and grilled chicken. What's the sauce about? It's habanero sauce made out of habanero peppers plus garlic, ginger, and then of course, onga three mix. And then we used onga stew and onga Three mix for the rice. I like your chicken. The seasoning on your chicken, I like it very, very much. Thank you. And the aroma. Mm. Yes, that's what the aroma. Perfect. And the beany thing in the jollof. It doesn't take jollof. It just takes like some color thing. The bean that is coming out. The jollof thing didn't come out too much, but it's a beautiful plate. This year, 
four teams will win four golden tickets to cook during Christmas for four lucky viewers. You can nominate that person for the Ongalicious Christmas treat. Simply write to the Onga social media hashtag Onga Christmas Hero and tell us why you think that person deserves a treat. So far, the contestants are proving their metal, and it appears the judges will have a tough time selecting the best 12, whose food is ungalicious enough to deserve one of the 12 aprons needed to get into the final stage. Don't go away. Kojo! Yes, mommy. Could you please get me the new Onga chicken tablet from Auntie AC? Okay, mommy. The new what? Ah. Onga chicken tablet onga onga chicken tablet onga onga chicken tablet onga onga chicken Yes, Kojo, what do you want? Onga chicken tablet, onga, onga chicken tablet, onga. Go, 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 go. Introducing the new Onga chicken tablet, which adds natural chicken taste to not only your chicken dishes, but to all your favorite dishes. Spice up your meals with the new Onga chicken tablet. Onga, mama's helping hand. <laughs> this advert is FDA approved. The heat is on. The culinary battle lines are being drawn. The final set of the 30 applicants are placing their hopes of being selected onto their plates. Is their food on delicious enough? Thank you. Uh, this is uh, rice and kontomri stew. Rice and, rice and kontomri? Yehoa. <laughs> and again, I'm coming, wait. Your plate, eh? There are certain things that was not necessary. Okay. This is one. This is one. This or this one of these that I can this see is dumplings you've done, but you've taken us by is it surprise. Rice? Yeah. This is like it's a, not necessary. that Italian thing. Yeah, arancini. Um, aran arancini. arancini. Yeah, and then the your this thing is quite raw. Your vegetables, They're but rubbish. aside from that, me, I like it. Raw. Chef don't like your plate choice of plates, but I don't mind. It's darkened the whole thing. It's making the whole plate depressing. And what's in the contemporary? Is a, a, a smoked fish. Oh, okay. okay. I think I like the idea behind this. And I like the you, taste. The onga, where did you use it? Uh, with the kutumbi stew, I used the onga classic. And, and the kutumbi puri, I used the onga shrimps. I used the puri. And onga momo, need to wait, eh? Okay. Exactly. To get this, that, authentic that authentic Ghanaian, Ghanaian kutumbi flavor. Okay? Okay, sir. I beautiful. Think this is beautiful. Keep it up. Thank you. The lonely soldier. Even when the soldiers for the battle must go on, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's that's right. exactly what you have decided yes, to do. Yes, So tell us about your plate. My plate is a grilled chicken, a grilled tilapia with garifoto. Garifoto. Yes, and toasted veg. And toasted veg. Yes. Asan. Awesome. So garifoto is quite rich. Yes, I love the garifoto. Where did you use the onga? I used the onga we prepare the garifoto and then the grilled tilapia. And the tilapia. Oh, this is grilled? Yes. You filleted before grilling? Yes. Yeah, good. Thank you very much. Eh, oui. <laughs> très bien. Mm. <laughs> Mais le bon, aujourd'hui, très ma... Please, tell us what it is. Exactly what <laughs> I said. Tell us exactly what meal you have prepared and which onga variants you use and why you chose to use yeah. them. Is the avocado tata? Yeah. Avocado what? Tata. Tata. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's so, more of a, a, starter. a starter. Yeah, a starter. Yeah, this too is okay for a vegetarian or a But notwithstanding, yeah. if it is a starter, there should be that, some picantness in it. It's, that's not coming. It's just like flat, like a dressing thing. Not a dressing, like a, a flat, a flat meal. There's no kick. If it's a starter, give it some kick. This year, four teams will win four golden tickets to cook during Christmas for four lucky viewers. You can nominate that person for the Ongalicious Christmas treat. Simply write to Onga on social media, hashtag Onga Christmas Hero, and tell us why you think that person deserves the treat. Present a meal we all know to be a bit bulky and greasy. Mm -hmm. We managed to present it in a very classic or let's say fine way, which was good. One thing we also loved was the traditional flavor in there. It was so, so real. 
with Zumi. Immediately you put in the Zumi fragrance that goes into your hair, that gives you that feeling. Yeah. It's like you are in an environment that you can't explain whatever you're feeling. And I could also there. tell that because of the usage of the onga, your taste was well balanced. Very good. Very so good. We, we liked it. Just that it was a, a bit simplistic. Thank you. Thank well. you very much, sir. So tell us what you presented to us. Okay, so on my plate I have stuffed chicken with yam eto, hard boiled egg, avocado puree, aubergine treats, chili treats, and the peanuts with parsley oil and carrot oil. There's a lot of creativity going on. A lot, a lot. That creativity. notwithstanding creative, creativity. beautiful creativity. plate. Creativity. Okay. <laughs> the carrot, I would have loved to see it done into something. Maybe cook it in honey or nice glazed. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. sauce or even the oil extract you did you could have used it to reduce it a bit to give it some tenderness okay, okay. so it's a bit hard where did you add the onga variant okay so and which one did you use it's in the chicken i use the classy it's in the chicken and as well the eto and then the puree avocado puree so yes. well done so this rice is again it is a classical oriental rice classical oriental rice i yes, guess with please. cinnamon yes please yes the cinnamon is a little bit overpowering in a savory meal. Cinnamon is a sweet spice. Yes, please. And if you want to use it in a savory meal, you need to be very delicate, yes. extremely delicate. Okay, sir. So that you'll be eating, you'll be filling in something, but you can't identify it as cinnamon. But this one, immediately I take it close to my nose. The cinnamon is so powering. It gives it away. Exactly, it gives yes, it too much away. Yes, sir. But notwithstanding, well, that's okay. Thank you. Okay, right. so we have palm nut oil, palava sauce, with steamed plantain, served over carrot puree. And then our garnish is red chili fried with aubergine fried, chili fried, and then aside with boiled egg, soft boiled Where did egg. you use the hunger? Please in the palava sauce. Your presentation is nice, but the egg is too much. I've cooked egg, I've cut it for you, eat it. Nice choice of plate. I like the oil extract. It's beautiful. Tell us what you presented to us. Hello, yeah. Chef. Today I prepared for you boiled yam with palava sauce. Let's dig in. How did you use the onga in it? Okay, I used. Um, onga. Where did you use the onga? In the yam, the stew. Where? Where was the, the stew? Onga? The stew. Which onga one? Classic. Which, which, which variety? Which variant? Onga classic and uh, onga shrimp. Okay, you put classic blend and shrimp. Blend the two. Yeah, blend the two. What have you put here? Hello, <laughs> please. Today I've made for you chicken stir fry with garlic turmeric rice. Which of the onga variants do you use? Please, we use the chicken tablets. The chicken? Yes, please. Any in the rice? Yes, just a little bit. None? The it's still the chicken, right? Yes. In the chicken um, stir fry? Yes. And a bit in the rice. In the rice. As for your flavors, dear. Yeah. Je -je. Thank you. Mm, I like it. The rice, you know, rice is quite basic. So if you are working with rice, especially in a competition, mm -hmm. you have to give it a wow something that will make it wow and that is what is missing but it's tasty this season promises to be nerve-wracking as each family is seeking to impress the judges they compete in to win the first prize of 20,000 Ghana cities second prize of 15,000 Ghana cities third of 10,000 Ghana cities and fourth prize of 5,000 Ghana cities and many other fantastic prizes hello Ghana my name is DeGraft. And my name is Naomi. And together, we are the painters. We are the kitchen deals. S squared. We, we are Tim We were so, so excited. excited. When we had the court come for the auditions. We are so excited. We are happy to be part of this year's Ungalicious Ghana Cook, the family edition. Ungalicious Ghana Cooks. When we come back, we'll be finding out which of the contestants' dishes will be Ungalicious enough to sail through. Don't go away. No one chicken lies so hot and spicy. Honey, now the baby wants some some rest to you. Honey, the baby wants 
some small beef jollof and the kids. Food is ready! Helping hand. This advert is FDA approved. Welcome back. This is Ongalicious Ghana Cooks, the second family bottle edition brought to you by Onga. Mama's helping hand, Ilili. So now the auditions are over. Which of these teams will earn the right to wear the Ongalicious apron and the right to compete to win the first prize of 20,000 Ghana CDs, second prize of 15,000 Ghana CDs? third prize of 10,000 Ghana CDs and fourth of 5,000 Ghana CDs and many other fantastic prizes. In every competition, it comes down to this stage. So um, I have my colleague Judge here. You all wowed us, but some went the extra mile. I don't want to be in the judge's shoes. They and only they must decide. Who gets the apron? Here is an Unger tip. The Unger shoe will give you the perfect reddish look in your to love and stews. The family that knows how to use their onga stew and many other variants displayed here in the kitchen will come out with an ongalicious taste. Next on Ongalicious Ghana Cook. Chef Joe will take us through the results. If we hand you an apron, it means uh, you are part of the fortunate ones who will be progressing into the next level. Ongalicious Ghana Cooks 2021, the family battle edition, is brought to you by Onga. Mama's helping hand, Ilili. 